it's not a cleanse. It's called Chroma Cookie Butter. How many kisses can we do in one vlog? Good morning, everyone. I need to hop in the shower. We're going to church at 8 a.m. Yeah, I have less than an hour to get ready. I really want to make it to church. Baby is doing his independent play. I like to put this underneath his feet. When he moves his feet, you know, he can move something. And that's what he's learning now is like movement of hands and feet mobility. So he's like playing with this. He likes this little mirror thing. And he kind of just chills there, honestly. We have a solid like morning routine that I do with him when Xander's working. We'll wake up um we'll feed he goes on there for about like an hour i'll play with him do some tummy time and some exercises which i think i'll do here in a little bit i'll let him go on his bouncer and i'll put on this like really colorful like newborn stimulating netflix show i think it's called like color me something i'm sitting here snacking on this amazing smoked gouda triscuit and then our Publix has this really yummy chicken salad this combination is so good i'm actually starting it's not a cleanse more of like a superfood reset it's called chroma i'm using it because i've been really really bad with my health like in terms of cravings i think because when i was pregnant and when i'm breastfeeding it's so easy to just eat whatever it's a good excuse and like you don't see any physical changes really in your body um i ate like pretty healthy but I think I'm just in the habit of snacking all the time and just eating like not the best food for my body I don't feel my best self I feel kind of like lethargic and like not as strong like my my workouts are impacted and this is more just like a discipline for me being able to kind of just like re-align my thoughts around food, release those cravings. What I believe is that food is medicine, right? I'm just not eating the best quality food, substantial food for like fueling my body. So that's the purpose behind this. I saw it online, I saw there's chocolate. It's like with real food. So I was like, I might as well just do it. Xander and I were actually just talking about the three, they're not sins, but like in my head, the three things that are just so not good, I think, and keep you addicted and in this like kind of vicious cycle of cravings, caffeine. Don't hate me. Alcohol and sugar. Obviously, I'm never not gonna have these again, but I think being aware of when you're putting these in your body, I feel the most pure when they're not in my body. I think like having all three of these in one day is not really good. I actually got it in the mail yesterday. Here it is. So like I said, it's called Chroma. It is a five day lifestyle reset. We have the steps here of vibrant existence. More energy, more focus, more passion, more smiles, and more color, more you. When I'm eating right, I just feel feel better. I feel my best self pure. I don't know how else to describe it besides just I feel pure when I'm eating healthy. All right, so this is pretty cool. So it starts with day one here all the way to day five. They have breakfast porridge. They have elixirs, smoothies. I know there's a lot of broths in here. Cookie butter. Like what? That's awesome. And then there is chocolate. Turmeric tea. We were just talking about turmeric. I was talking about my nutritionist who I saw in the beginning of 2021. This is a holistic doctor and everyone like comes, literally travels to see her. I remember showing her athletic greens because I was taking athletic greens at the time. She read like all the ingredients and she's like, oh my God, this is amazing. The only thing that it's missing is turmeric. I recommend to have a turmeric um, supplement. And I think people dismiss turmeric. Like it's not in a lot of our foods, but it's so healthy. It's an anti-inflammatory. So this is really cool. They have like a turmeric and ginger tea. There's like a little dark chocolate bite. I think you get like one bite of this a day, which is like, 
perfect because it helps you appreciate your sweet. So I'll be starting this tomorrow. I am going to take five shots today, eat a gallon of ice cream, and drink five shots of espresso. No, I'm kidding. I'm really excited about that. It's hard when you're in that moment of just eating unhealthy to kind of just be like, okay, I'm gonna start again tomorrow. But if you have like some sort of routine, like I don't even have to think about it. It's all right here, just five days, follow the plan. And I'll just reset my mindset in terms of health. I'll reset my body, get all the nutrition and nutrients that I need, fuel my body properly. Like I'm really excited about this. I'm more excited about how I'm gonna feel than the actual food, but I have a feeling the food's really good too because this is a really, really popular cleanse reset guide. This is the first time we've been to church since Bryson has gotten home. The girl who takes care of the kids, we like went and saw, we went into like the kid area to see what they had and everything like that before he got home. And she remembers, I guess that Sunday was the last Sunday that we were gonna go before we were to pick him up. And she even remembered the day like a Tuesday. It's crazy how people in church are just so genuinely compassionate and you know, engaged in your story. And they remember us. They remember exactly what day he was supposed to come home. She had been waiting for us to come back. She said, she watched every single Sunday just waiting for us to come in. She like ran to us and was like, oh my God, congratulations at Bryson. It was just such a good moment. We went to church a lot when he was in the NICU. I just had my phone on me next to me, like constantly checking on him on the camera. And to have him right next to us was so really, really great. Like a little nursing station, which was freaking amazing. And it wasn't one of those nursing stations that just has a like cheap, kind of like leather gross stuff. They had such a cozy vibe. I really appreciated it. You could watch the sermon in there. They had like LaCroix in there. Like it was just, it felt so good. There was water, there was a diaper station with all the essentials, like water wipes, like everything that you needed. Comfortable chairs, privacy. They had like a little cloth on every single chair. It was so nice and clean. But it was all about finances, which I thought was really interesting. What your payments are reveals your priorities, which is so true your spending decisions are your spiritual decisions as well so like i look back at my finances i spend a lot of money on bryson obviously nova recently my home so it's like shelter family food which is really important to me like health i do spend a lot of money on restaurants which is what i'm okay with like a lot of experiences rather than material things that i really don't feel comfortable with nowadays is spending a lot of money on material wealth my range rover back in the day clothing items um alcohol or just things that are just not good for me. He also talks about how people are with money. Like if you can't be trusted with little, what makes you feel like you're gonna be trusted with a lot? Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And he put in all these stats about how, like where Americans spend the majority of their money, a lot of them on credit cards, in-app purchases, unused gym memberships, lottery, like just things that just aren't priority. And so it's so interesting because I was just talking about this in that video, my journal series video, about how people in society will idolize wealth and um, consumerism coincided with what I was thinking about this week, which is, it always happens to be like that in church. Yeah, we just had a really good time. I'm going to sit here though and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. your commitment to your health on this fine Monday morning. This has a lot of very good, delicious ingredients. I'm gonna put some almond milk in my frother and then add it in. Found out about Malk, this brand of nut milks, and it is the best nut milk. A lot of nut milks have these things called fillers, which is like really not good for you. This has only three ingredients in it. So it's like as if I made my own almond milk. It just has filtered water, organic almonds, and some Himalayan pink sea salt. I really like it. I also tried their oat milk. Finished that pretty fast. Give her a whirl. Okay. Bottoms up. Is there ginger in that? Oh, and turmeric. I can taste the ginger in the turmeric. It's not awful. But definitely tastes healthy. So, cheers.
has gold in it. It's called 24 karat broth. What is making this look like gold? It literally says 24 karat chicken bone broth. How's your yummy lunch? It's nine dollars. Do you want to switch? Politely, no. <laughs> Can't put metal in the microwave. This is a metal. It's gold. What's gonna happen? <clears throat> Xander! I'm curious to see how this does with athletic greens because athletic greens taste kind of like a berry. This isn't bad. It's actually really good. 81 superfoods in this. Are you kidding me? Down the hatch. There is an ultimate vitality latte that has coconut milk in it. This time I'm gonna put this in my frother and do the rest of my almond milk, which is. yellow so i'm gonna try this creamer that i just found probably should have added this to our morning latte this is better than the morning one it does still taste like ginger but it tastes like a coffee with ginger flavor so it's not awful it's actually quite good now for the best part the cookie butter two tablespoons per day don't mind if i do kind of looks like what i thought the oatmeal was gonna Oh no, oh no. Mm. Limiting your sugar intake when you do have sugar, it helps you enjoy it more. Like I would have scarfed a lot of this down with like a piece of toast or something and I just would have like eaten it and not appreciated it. Now I'm like, I wanna take it slow, I wanna enjoy it. That's really good. I feel like it's the coconut butter. Mm. This is actually really good. Yeah. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Bring me my chocolate, man. It's not even real chocolate. It is real chocolate. <laughs> I get one bite a day. Is... I feel like Willy Wonka. I've got the girls and ticket. Come try this chocolate with me. Oh, oh. oh wow. I'm going to have a bite of your chocolate. Listen, when you have a you moment to... on your face. <laughs> when you're on a cleanse and you take a bite of something that you can only have a little bit of every day, you really savor it. Otherwise, I would have eaten this whole thing and like not even tasted it. But each bite is so good. Little little nibble, like a rabbit nibble. <sighs> I didn't even notice because I thought it was my thumb. Okay. You need me to put it back? I just can't. in your drawer. How many kisses can we do in one vlog? Good morning everyone. I woke up this morning and scarfed down chicken and nuts. And Xander's on his way to go get me a bagel with cream cheese. I think that the cleanse or the detox is fine for people that aren't breastfeeding. It's not because the minerals or the vitamins or whatever, like I made sure all of that was all fine for breastfeeding, but the calories are just not enough for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna save it and do it once I'm done breastfeeding, but I don't wanna like end breastfeeding for a while. So what I think I'm gonna do is just keep everything and then eat some of those meals as some of my meals or snacks. I feel like my gut really cleansed on the first day. Like I feel very, lean and healthy, but waking up starving and shaking is just not it for me, especially when I'm breastfeeding. I know that you burn certain calories, like a certain amount of calories when you're breastfeeding. So not only am I burning my calories, but I'm burning all the calories that he's taking from my breast milk. So we did a day, high five. Yeah, we did the cleanse for a day. I think it's a really good option if you are not breastfeeding. Xander brought me my baby. Que a gente va a salir de mí